Hey guys, it's Griffin Fishing here. Uh, Griffin, what I'm doing today is I'm showing y'all how to, uh, how I fixed the brakes on our little, uh, I don't know what model or year it is, but we have this little Yamaha. It's, um, it's a 50. It's really small, but we still ride it just for fun. Uh, the back brakes on it locked up and me and a friend fixed them. So I'm just going to go back and show you how we fixed them. Uh, it might be helpful, it might not be, uh, but here we go. Here's what we're doing. We got the jack set up down there. First, we popped it up on this before we put those down there. Uh, but before we popped it up at all, we got our, uh, socket wrench and an extension so we can, so it reaches out and a 12 millimeter head from our thing. And now, and so before we popped it up we loosen these so the tire doesn't just spin when we're loosening it so here we go i'll get y'all set up to where you can see and we'll get started all right so first off we're going to Let's we'll take these off. We took this off from here so we can get the tire off. I will be right back and get your grass on. I'm back. I went and grabbed this. This holds all my screws and stuff. It's got a magnet on the bottom. So we can hook it to anything that's metal, pretty much. Uh, and we just put our screws in it and it magnetizes them so they can't fall out of the tray. It's a handy little thing to have. I'm just gonna set it up here where y'all can't see it, I know. Uh, yeah, actually, I'll set it right up there, if you can see. All right, y'all can see it now. And we'll get into it back in a minute. All right, we'll get these other three on. These other two, there's only three on it. I'm sorry if this video is a bit long. It sometimes takes a while to get everything off because of how tight it is and everything. Uh, and one more. Oh, since I've already loosened them, I can just spin them off with my fingers. Now the tire comes off. We'll set it to the side over here. Okay, now we have now we have this. This is what the tire goes on, and this is the, I'll show y'all that later, but to get this off, we have to take this out, this pin, and this, which is a really difficult part, and it's kind of aggravating, and I will uh, speed that up for you. I'm gonna go grab the, uh, Pliers, the, uh, what, I forgot what you call that, and this. Oh, yeah, and I think I have it over here. Go ahead. Yep. Okay. We'll set those down and we'll grab our hammer because we need this too. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to speed this up for you. First, I'm going to get that the tire on the other side off. This tire. So I can uh, hold this one. So I'll take this off real quick if I can. Actually, 
I'm going to try and get it off without it, and I will time lapse this. So I'm taking the pin out right now with these pliers. I have to make the loop a little bigger in a minute, which I'll do with a green screwdriver that you'll see. Then I'll get the pin out. Just wait. Uh, here's the green screwdriver. It only takes a second. Well, actually, it took a lot longer. This is time lapse, so. And now I take it out, and then with a the hammer and the wrench, I get this nut off. Okay, so I got it loose. It took me a while to get the pin out, and then getting it the nut loose wasn't too hard. So we'll take this off in the washer, and we'll put them up there on our tray. Now this comes off. So we can set this right here. Now here we have the cover of the drum. Uh, we'll go get a screwdriver. I have a screwdriver over there, but this one works best. Okay, we got it. Set it right there. Here, I'll set you up real quick. All right, there's one more, and last one. Okay, so here is the last one. That was the last one. Now we gotta get this off. It's gonna be loud. There we go. That's the drum. Here's the cover. You set it there, then we'll take this piece and come off here. We'll set it right in there. This part is really rusty and wet. These are more nuts to get this off. And then these metal pieces that are around it are to make sure these nuts don't move. And this is gonna take me a minute to get undone. So I'll put you back on time lapse set you back up and i'll see you in a minute so right now i am prying the metal from around the nuts so we can uh take so we can unscrew them uh, now i'm unscrewing them and taking the metal off and soon i'll be taking the drum off hey guys uh so now I got all the nuts off of that. That's the drum, by the way. So now we'll take the drum off. It's just a big piece of rusty metal. We'll set it over here. So this is the inside of the brake. Uh, yeah, it doesn't turn. That's, that's right. So this turns the inside of it. So when you squeeze the brakes, um, this side right here, this is a brake pad, and then on the bottom right here, we don't have one, so there's supposed to be two, we don't have two, because when we had to fix it, the brake pad, so it's so old it fell off, it shouldn't do that when you take it apart, what we did was, so the, the drum was on there, we put these, 
put the hammer back in there and we did that and when we were pulling the brake pad is so old and everything it just pulled off with the drum which i mean if yours locks up that's probably a bad thing we had a whole bunch of crap and stuff fall out of it so yeah and uh so i don't re know if i would recommend doing this but if if it's not like if you're older and you don't really care if it doesn't have brakes then that's an easy way to fix them and now i'll just time last the entire i'll just put it all back together for you and then uh then we'll end the video see you in a minute Uh, by the way, these uh, are clamped down, so we have to prime them apart. And this nut right here is the same size as the ones holding the tire on. And when we put the... That's what we're doing now. So The drum cover is a tricky part to put back on. So, here's how we do it. So you gotta get it, you get it lined up how you want it. Let's see. Let's see if we, what we can prop you up against. See everything. Ow. Hold on. No, we need this. We need that. Okay, here's what we'll do. There we go. Okay, so we have to line it up, get a screwdriver. So you're gonna line it up. You're gonna take a screwdriver and put it down here. You're gonna wanna lean it back kind of from the bottom. You're gonna get a hammer and you're gonna, gonna get a couple bangs. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta take it back off, I forgot something. thing came out so I gotta put it back in okay so now that that's back in so here's how Line it up how you want it and everything. Then, like I said, you'll take the screwdriver, you'll put it down here, not on the hole. And you'll give it a couple bangs until it pops on. That's pretty much it. Then you just line the screw holes up. So press it on all the way after you line the screw holes up. And you'll get the screws. And screw them back in. And then we'll speed this up again.
All right, guys, so now that we got the pin and everything back in, we're just putting the tire back on. So here we go. All you gotta do for this is just set it on. Wait. Oh my God. There we go. You just set it on until it. Yeah, you just put it on. Really, it's not simple. You don't. It's not difficult. You don't have to twist it any certain way or anything. So we'll put you right here, so you can see. And then, so now, put this on. I guess we can screw it in some with our fingers. Okay, there's one. I'll go ahead and put this in. Just make it quick. There's two. Last one. And there, it's reassembled. And if our brakes had been bad, we would have fixed them now. So here's what we do now. Lower our jack. We pull, roll it up under there. We jack it up. Okay. Now... Be careful, don't let it make it fall on you. We gotta, we're gonna put this down and pull it out. Other side. Put this up. Let it fall. And then pull this out. And then release your jack. And boom. Now, I know I used the jack, but it's you don't have to have one. The last time we did this, those boards laying out there, we just stacked them up, and one guy, one of us lifted it, one put them under here to just barely get it off the ground so we could work on it. But, so you don't have to have the jacks, but, I mean, we wanted them, so. All right, so guys, that's how we fixed our Yamaha, our Yamaha 50. Uh... It's the Raptor, the Raptor 50 uh, shaft drive. Uh, so that's how we fix the back brakes on it. Um, I don't know if you wanted, you would want to do it this way, but you can if you want. It worked for us, kind of. We don't really have back brakes anymore, but it worked for us, and uh, I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.